bring West. So who's out there? Who's out there? As far as point guards that he can get? There's a couple. Um, if you're looking to make the splash move, it's going to be Russ. If you're looking to make a, a steady I'm going Me personally, I'm going with John Wall over Russ right now for the Knicks. The only thing with John Wall is he me personally play in like two years, though. And if yeah. you trade, Russell Westbrook is not really a point guard at this point. Yeah, I but know. No, he's, when he's, your point guard cannot make shots, it puts your team at a big disadvantage. But we haven't seen John Wall play in two years. So what, what realistically, you would have to think about what am I giving up for a guy that I haven't seen play basketball in two years? Yeah, and he's and that's true. And Russell did average what well, was averaging thirty at one point, right? Yeah, Russell Westbrook can so he can still score. He's yeah. more like a forward in this NBA though, or a small ball five. Well, listen, I mean a Houston center, a uh, Houston Rockets five, yeah. Definitely a Rockets. <laughs> I mean, he's you, not really a point guard at this point. Uh, you, if but, the choice is between Westbrook and and John Wall, you cannot go John Wall because you don't know what you're going to get from John Wall. And it, like, first of all, he IQ. It, he, yeah, but it may even be a situation where he has to play himself back to even getting into being an average player. Like, we really, like, two years is a long time off, and this is not John Wall, 23, and he missed two years, and he's coming back. You know what I'm saying? Like, this that's a lot. If you, what are you giving up to bring John Wall over? That's a huge contract. They would have to take, yeah, they would have to take pennies on the dollar for him. You know what I'm saying? I that's, think the Knicks are going to regret not taking Halliburton. I mean, yeah, but that's, that's, the Knicks regret not taking a lot of people. So that's nothing. Nah, yeah, I'm just. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they'll only they'll only regret it if if Obi is a complete bum. Like if Obi nah, is like Obi, Obi's gonna be good. He's gonna be good on I offense. Know. Defense is the issue with him, but he's gonna be good on offense. But I think Tyrese is gonna be. You know, obviously they don't play the same position, but he's gonna be the better player. And on top of that, he's it's a better fit. I think Tyrese has more upside, and he's the younger player. But we also yeah. have to remember that you know when teams yeah. are drafting, it's all is always about what's what they feel that is best for them. I think I think Tibbs had a big play in not wanting a rookie point guard. I, I really do. Tibbs is not going to try to mentor, and, and he doesn't have the patience for a rookie That kid point is guard. super smart, though, man. And he's – they said he's the best interviewer ever. A lot, a lot of GMs and head office people said he has – he's the best interview they've ever seen. So, we'll see. Well, we got to look at then who – if if he doesn't want a rookie point guard, then we got to see – because, I mean, because after that, like, we're, like it's got to be – That'd be Westbrook, you know, if that's the case, because I really I, I think if him taking a chance on 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 John Wall. I mean, I know I guess they they brought in Austin Rivers. So I don't know how if you count him, but I don't even really count him like that. Austin Rivers is a bench player. We know that that's he's best saying. suited to come off the bench. And like I said, if if you want the splashy move, it's going to be Westbrook. If you want the smart move with a, with a vision towards the future, then you take a veteran that's on a one year deal, similar to Mike Conley or um, Kyle Lowry, and yeah. you bring him in on a one year as the vet. Um, who helps out whatever young point guard you decide to keep on the roster, or if you have your eye on somebody long term? I don't think John Wall's in play because if I'm the, again, if I'm the Knicks, not that I'm, I'm doubting his talent, I'm not giving you a, anything of, of value or substance for a guy who hasn't played basketball in two years. I'm not, I, I'm not doing it. Yeah, that, that, that's that's my. That's fair. Because he could. I mean, listen, and I and I hope he does. I hope John Wall comes back and he can get back to All Star form. But two years is a long time. And if you think, all right, we st- you still got to get yourself back in the game shape. We saw it took Paul George a season, really, before he got back to being Paul George, even, you know, before the side shots on the side of the basket and all that. But outside of that, it took him about a year before he really got back to to playing like a like an, an all-NBA talent. So if it's a situation where now we're going to take a whole, damn near a whole year for John, or John Wall to look anything close to John Wall, and we we done what do we give up to get him? Because we're gonna have to give Can't up give anything. Yeah, it, it's gotta be again, it's gotta be pennies on the dollar yeah. because we don't know what he got. Uh that's a great point. As you mentioned, trip mentioned trip, you don't know how long it's gonna take him to get back. Um, and then you don't know if, if he runs the risk of getting injured again because he's trying to overcompensate for the injuries he's recovering. Smush Parker here, pull me up to Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to real fans, real talk.